we are a religious group that is going after slave owners or enslavers, right? The Quakers may have been like um, a Gnostic group or whatever, you see what I say? But are a Jehovah Witness group. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, this day where the revolution was fired, was, the revolution was launched and we fought revolutions to free ourselves from colonization and the, what the Quakers subscribe to. If, you, if you're honoring Quaker on Independence Day, I'm going to be like, yo, these people subscribe to this same, even though they were out there fighting, quote unquote, fighting against slavery. They are still subscribing to this type of dogma. It's like, it's like me, I talk about one side of my mouth, say, yo, um, you know, legalize weed. I'm going to fight for legalize weed. But then I have me going to the court and, 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 and testify against rubber because I smoke. Mm -hmm. So outside, me, I say, yo, I'm going to fight against anybody who gets sentenced for, 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 for smoking weed. But of course, I still hold on to, I still vote for the people. Where, you understand me? I get it. I get it. I get it. Like, life isn't black and white. There's a little bit of gray in the middle, too. I get it. There's no gray when it comes down to the dogma that, that, that clearly states that a slave master, a slave master can beat his slave to the point of death. Check out, check out the link that I sent you. Because look, Exodus 21, verse 16 says, Whoever steals a man and sells him, and anyone found in possession of him shall be put to death. But still, so, we still, still so so uh, 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 abolitionists would use that verse and, and say. God doesn't want men to be in bondage. That would be but his guess argument. What? But guess what? Who it was talking about at that time? That's a fact. That's a fact. No. Exactly. The thing is, I remember, 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 I we have the, remember, remember we have the chosen people that were protected, right? Yes, I already know. I already so know. Remember, what, remember, remember, remember some slaves, you run a, you run a, a screwdriver through his ears and pin it on the door. Remember mm -hmm. some slaves, when he's ready to leave, him can't take him offsprings them with him. Absolutely, our, I our wife. You know what I'm saying? No, no. So we, have, we, have, we, have know, we have to know. We have to know who we're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. At at the end of the day, I agree with you that the Bible promotes slavery, and trying to say that it doesn't is just cherry picking it. That's my official argument. Okay. That's the reason I'm saying. How do we honor, or how can we honor, religious persons that are carrying continuing? None of these people will stand up and say these texts should be removed from the Bible. Well, they will never say that. If you realize <laughs> that even the, the LGBT community, you know, brother, mm -hmm. they are already putting pressure behind the scene on the King James Bible, you know. So they already have New Testament version, new translation version, new interpretation new version, new this, new that. They, they, they totally taking out the text them. That are uh, that are promoting violence against LGBTQ people, but they did that before. Remember, certain verses, certain stories got left out. The stories of Judah, the story of Mary, all that shit got left out. So they're just doing it again. The no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, you, these people, these people. If I were to quote a Bible verse right now, mm -hmm. Leviticus against okay. the LGBTQ community, they will ban my music. Absolutely, the Facebook would block me for. Delete my page. Hate speech. Hate speech. Religious people, people who subscribe to Christianity, especially in Jamaica, there's no middle ground. You see what I'm saying? There's mm -hmm. no middle ground for Christians in Jamaica. It's this or that. I get you. I get right. You. We're not going to be like, okay, we, um, we are Christians, but we understand how sensitive these 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 Bible verses are against any group that are pro Africans. You see, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they will more care about the LGBTQ feelings, the people in the LGBTQ feelings, than caring about we as pro Africans. Because it's a money thing at the end of the day. Right, but that cannot work when you're gonna give somebody one of the highest distinction in the land. No, I get it. Who I still get it. subscribe to? Still subscribe slave, to what? The slave religion. This dogma. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, master brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, this, we have never heard these people come forward and said this must be taken out the Bible. Look at this. 
First Peter 2, 18, slaves, in reverent fear of God, submit yourself to your masters. Not only, to not those, only who those who are good and considerate, but also to those who are harsh. <laughs> you know, you hear them people that way I get award, brother. As I got to say that one for later. Say you saw me, I said, bro? Yeah, that was a good one. You pre that? Yeah, I got to save that for when I get my little, when I have my little biblical wars. Save bro, this is good. clearly, this is clearly one of the weakness or one of the, what I'm going to call this now, the blueprint. You see me, I said, this is like evidence in a court, you know. This is like, this is like where I put the slave masters in on trial, you know. All right, now let me give you some verses that they're going to use now against, right? Look, Galatians says this. Galatians 5, verse 1, it says, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Again, Vegas, I know you're going to say, who is he talking to? I already know. Deuteronomy, first of, first of foremost, Deuteronomy first of says this, Vegas. If a man is found stealing one of his brothers of the people of Israel, and if he treats him as a slave or sells him, then that thief shall die. So you shall purge the evil from your midst. Those are the so chosen people. Those, 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 those are a selected set of people, brother, who were heading to the promised land or, were, or, were, or, were, or who were promised African land, brother. That's the first thing we have to understand. These are a set of people who were prom Africans. Africans could not be promised anywhere, because that was where that was our um um you know you know you know habitat. Mm -hmm, so we mm -hmm. could not be promised anywhere. So that is clearly not talking about us, brother. We could, we could the, the the um God could not promise the natives here, or give them a promise that they're going to get some promised land. The colonizers were promised. They they created this history about being getting some promise from some divine whatever. You know what I'm saying? So that could not be talking about us, bro. What is talking about us is the text them that you clearly see, because that does not say slaves obey your master, no matter how harsh they are. You but, would not see that in the Bible where God is speaking to his chosen people. And telling them to obey any form of master. God killed. So Vegas, I agree with you, but again, it's just interpretation. Because I give you an example: the meek shall inherit the earth, right? Mm -hmm. From me, your perspective, we would think, okay, that's African people because they're the meek, right? No, but, no. So, so who you would think that they were talking about? The meek, basically, I talk about some humble people. Some people are humble and, so, and all of that, and they want, they, they want, they want to talk about the the, the um the the oh, passive. Jesus was. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to do with black people. They, of course, they mm -hmm. want black people to be passive. Mm -hmm. you know what I say? Okay. And, course, okay. and even that what you're saying, to tell us that the meek shall inherit the earth, is another form of, of enslavement. I mean, I Vegas, again, you preach it to the choir, bro. Of course, I agree with you a thousand percent. It's just a doctrine. Yeah. No, I, 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 know, I, I know you are basically playing devil's advocate. Mm -hmm. Exactly. But, yeah, I'm but trying to play devil's it, advocate. It still stands. Mm -hmm. They could point me to interpretation, 50 million Bible verses. Mm -hmm. The fact still remains that you cannot recite due to um, Leviticus 21 anywhere in the, in the earth at this point and you don't get checked. Mm -hmm. We live in a, we live in a, on a phone. The world isn't in your hands. It's a phone. If me and you text right now on our WhatsApp that we're going to go do something to some people you will see the fbi knocking on our door those mm -hmm. people are protected black people are not protected and we are not supposed to feel um like people are being anti-africans you see what i'm saying if they say things about black people like slaves you know in reverent to fear of god submit to your master no matter how harsh vegas leviticus 25 verse 39 says if your brother becomes poor besides you and sells himself to you you shall not make him serve as a slave same people chosen people brother i mean i know i know but people you know someone say i'm a hebrew israelite this that and the third so they're gonna you know, we, are, we are brother we are hebrew yeah. hebrewism all that's not predate did not predate um did not predate 
African existence, brother. Facts. You see what I'm saying? came way later. Right. So what I'm saying is, mm -hmm. what I'm saying is, it's 100% clear that the slave masters used biblical Bible verses to enslave African people and to continue to commit atrocities against African people. Maybe they felt like they they civilized them now because those African people are Christians now, so now they can't enslave them anymore because they're their brother. The, worst type, of, the, worst, type, the worst type of enslavement is the enslavement of the mind because that is going to keep us poor. No, I get it. I agree with you, but maybe from their perspective, that's I'm trying to, again, I'm playing devil's advocate. What I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to get across, you know. I got your point already. Don't what worry. I'm I got get across, what I'm trying to get across, Marshall. The Europeans weaponized this dogma, this religion. So there is no way anyone can stand up to me or, or anyone that takes this position that the weaponizing of Christianity was one of the main factor in enslaving black people and keeping and committing atrocities against black people. You see what I'm saying? To this day. And, and look, Vegas, to support your point, even though they gave them freedom, like you said, they still have them mentally enslaved. They still have them under the because think about it, Vegas. When World War II was fought, Jamaica sent troops to go fight for the Queen. You feel exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. And even after World War II was over, because when did Jamaica get its independence in the 60s, right? In 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 62. Yeah, 62. Even after Jamaica got its independence in 62, you still think though they don't send military to support let, whatever let, the British want to do? Let, let me show you something else. Let, let, let me make this more conspicuous. Check this out. See? Emancipation, right? Let's look at emancipation. See? Emancipation, right? Um, emancipation was August 1st, 1834, right? During this time, them say, yo, Children under the age of six were free. But look at that. Everybody else were enslaved still. So it's like and they created a statue, but it had a delay until it went into effect. So the the next generation get it. Not, oh, no. Right. So what them do? No, they gave them four years of apprenticeship before they could um, think there. Could be. Then, then they had a meeting. They had a... a, a, a political meeting um, and they voted to um, to end the apprenticeship right not August 1st I think it was the 28th of August yet still we are celebrating in the um, 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 emancipation on the first when it was not the first that they called the the, 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 um, the meeting in, in the government to end the apprenticeship, we were still slaves. That's Only children lie. under the years of six were enslaved. Were, were not enslaved. They, 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 they said, "Okay, children, but well, you know, so friend, the parents must slave. The children must slave." So what they did was, they ended it um, August twenty eighth, eighteen thirty eight. That's yet like still, Juneteenth, though, bro. That's like Juneteenth. It's the same thing. You know about Juneteenth. Yet still, we are celebrating emancipation August first. Now, what, why this is significant to what I'm saying? The reason why we have, in, that's why there's the dates are so close, August 6th and August 1st. This whole weekend or these few days from August 1st to August 6th, where they tie emancipation and independence into one and have this big celebration, you see? When in truth, we were still held as slaves until the 28th, four years after. So the whole idea that we should even have religious people giving award to religious people when religion was playing a role because the people have not held us in slavery, held us in the apprenticeship program, 
that claim that they gave us independence, they are the same people that gave us religion. And that may I talk about in the brother. They gave us a chain to wrap around our brains after quote unquote they, independence and emancipation. They gave the chain some more length. I got exactly, exactly what you're saying. Brother. So there is no question. You see, all right, let me tell you. If we had preachers out there contesting, asking for the removal of biblical verses, he wouldn't be a preacher anymore. Facts. We Facts. know that. That's blasphemy. Because that's Facts. the word of God. You can't do that. You can well, reinterpret his word, but you can't change his word. Oh, remember that. So that means this order of distinction that people gassing up and act as if it is important to black people. It's, what I'm saying basically is bull crap. It is not important to black people. It's not something that I would... You see what I'm saying? And as I said before, if, if it was something of any form of um, worth or value, then would I give it to 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 um, General Pope long time because he has done more than a lot of these people. He done enough idiot thing. Fundraisers. Overall, he has done great work. He has done charity. Yeah. You know, so when when, when everybody like when people do things and talk about it, but what is the world that we're living in? He has done charity. He, he, he broke artist. And in all honesty, I think he's a, a, a great person when, you know, in certain situations. Wow, that's big of you. That's big of you to admit that, you know, considering all of the history that y'all got. That speaks a Yo, lot. You know, of you know me straight up. You know me straight up, brother. You know nah, you what I'm trying to tell you, though. The fact that you could even admit that speaks a lot about your character. But go ahead, though. I'm listening. You know what he's like? General Poop is like um, a brother we may have. He will fight you. He will, he will fight you and bully you. But you see anything in the family, he is the first one reach. But him and some of the family members him just don't get along. Word. Well, yo, like, if you, yo, if you fight your family members like that, I don't want to see how you fight your enemies for it. No. Facts. No, no family members like that, then we fight like dog, hate each other. But you see, when little problems start, then first reach. So, General Poop is 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 is, is, is I'm, I'm not saying General Poop because you know people might go say you're a friend of look. So me just have said that. Come, I could have said it without putting any epithet, right? No. In truth. He has done more work than them past year with the Matabo. The, the award when I get to them past year. And so I say, I'm about morals and all of them things, brother. There is nothing moral about. Right? There's no moral compass when it comes down to religion, brother. None. Zero. Religious people are still celebrating and still worshiping and still subscribing to a book that was the, the blueprint. So wait, it is a compass. It's just not a compass that's that that has any basis in in like decency. But it is a compass. It's just a compass of some moral different. moral compass. Bro. I mean, it is a moral compass because it gives them up and well, down. It's just not one that we moral, is moral. Moral will be relative then because there cannot be a moral compass if you're saying a slave master can treat a slave anyway, and he must just accept it. It cannot be a moral compass when you're saying. A woman can 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 a man can take a woman when she start when she reach a flow of age. That is well, child. I agree. Age. So I'm again. I'm not saying that I agree with the compass. I'm saying that it is a compass, whether it's functional or right, not. But, but, but if we're looking at moral from the European standpoint, from the the, the the definition, then it would not be a moral compass. Is what I say? Christianity, in my view, cannot be a moral compass any time on this earth. It doesn't matter what a person may think that I am a good person. The fact still remains that what you subscribe to is basically um, immoral, in my view. It's a fucking cult, man. <laughs> I, I wouldn't go that far, but just the reading, just the like Moses go and take those people and kill all the little boys, them and. 
take the little girls for yourself. How could I award anybody a, 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 an order of distinction for this in this field? Hey, well, you so have let me ask you a question. question. So has any of your children ever been to church? Yeah. What about Carter? He he he's, he's, he was he was beating me up the other day when I was telling that. So the date is. I remember. I remember. I remember you was well, what he's, Jesus he's, looked he's, like he's, and all that. I remember. Well, you know what? I want him to go through that process as well. I get it. I get it. I get it. I want him. To, I if the mother want to take him to Sunday school and all them things, just don't make the pastor allow the, the allow the baron or pastor to go to a prayer meeting. You know, yeah. per, me personally, I don't know how I feel about that. Like me, like I grew up going to church. You know, I went to Sunday school. I did all that. I was baptized. I went through that. But me personally, I don't want to. I don't know. I, I, I'm conflicted because, like, for example, if my neighbors were going to church and they invited my child and they wanted to go, they could go. You get what I'm saying? But I don't want something that's going to be like forced down. You get what I'm saying? Because, you know, they want to go because their friends want to go. You know what I'm saying? They want to believe because their friends want to believe. They don't want to be the black sheep. Facts. That's for another day, though. Facts. But you know what? I'm, I'm just pointing out. I think I'm just pointing out the obvious. But but it it there's no way this order can be of any value. And and people may say because you can't get it. And well, that's fine. I think I think I've totally like like oh. So if you were supposed to get this award, will you go? Will you accept it? No. Yo, Vegas, you know what's something to look up? What percentage of Christians have actually read the Bible? If you had to throw a number out there, what do you think the number is? A very small percentage. That's, but that's the answer for you. No one has actually even read the shit. So the people who have not, read it, we're, we're, not talk, we're not talking about ordinary people, brother. The, the people that are being scholars. awarded. These are the are scholars. scholars in the field. And let me tell you something. For anyone to be a a pastor or a reverend through academia Biblical. they've gone through the sociology the, 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 the um the the, the 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 sociology and the anthropology and the, and the psychology sub subjects our courses so they actually know what percentage of those biblical scholars do you think went to traditional tertiary education Let's, these ones, these ones, these ones, that, most of these ones that they are worried. No, and I believe you, but I'm just yeah, saying, yeah, just they, they, that they, and that's something that I'm going to look up. These, these ones that you see they're worried, there are some people in the society that are the, the top of the PhDs, PhDs, yeah, shit yeah. like that. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So these people, they know, and if they don't, listen, to me, there should be no religious are really people in the field of religion getting any order of distinction in Jamaica if it is centered around independence. Because the blueprint and or one of the factors that ends that, that, that aided in the enslavement of black people is the Bible and Christianity. That's a fact. Yeah, it's the pamphlet. I got we it. cannot we can always say. We have evolved and we now can accept it or we can look at the Bible from an esoteric um, standpoint. You see what I'm saying? Or we can look, because I still have my Bible. I still I still have my Bible. I still, there's things in the Bible that I can look at from a metaphysic, um, metaphysical standpoint and understand, you know, some things. You see, like the sun and all of them things, they walk on the water and all of them things. Yeah. We can, you see what I'm saying? We can understand that. You see? But, me, me, but, these people that I'm talking about, they're looking at it in a literal sense. How do you award people out of distinction when they have people thinking there's a man they're going to come out of the sky and save them? That is what the Europeans told us to keep us enslaved, bro. How are you going to give someone that an order of distinction to continue? To continue? What are we celebrating then? How must I celebrate an order of distinction for my brother assassin? When the order of distinction means nothing. I should be looking at assassin getting an order, of, an order of distinction as a decent human being. And be like, yeah, my youth, a great accomplishment. That, But I can't feel that way there. I can't feel that way because I know so the order of distinction is bull crap because what? It's folly. It's folly. It's, it's based it's in folly. It's a joke, brother. You can't give really, brother. Trust me, no man. 
these four people, four religious people, four persons, four persons were awarded out of distinction in the field of in the field of religion. Four, four, on this one time, just to have black people thinking. That word? That's the Jamaican state, like the government. The guess. Okay, I thought maybe because I was thinking maybe it was a religious. So it's one of the highest award or order in the country. This goes against what the ancestors fought for. This goes against independence, brother. Because to this day, these religious people, they cannot have a conversation with anyone on these matters. So what they do? They hide. They do not have any discourse. They do not want anyone to call them out. As soon as they start calling them out, they call it the devil. So we cannot even challenge them if you're getting an order of distinction in a country where I'm from, I should be able to ask you questions. You think any of those people that got the order of distinction are going to ever come and sit with, with us and um, any of those persons will ever come and sit with us and be like, oh, tell us about this thing. I'm over we here think- looking up some of the names. So um, Lord Creator, a Trinidadian a, a Calypso artist also received one as well? Yeah, man, I have it right here, brother. Oh, okay, okay. I'll be right here. And I'm not talking about um, just any, any recipient. Because I'm in a business. If a man want to get a clean puppy teeth, that's so it go. No, no, I get it. I get this is what I'm about. Reverend Christine. To do what? Chaplaincy. Religion chaplaincy? Chaplaincy. Come on, brother. But you know what? That shit is probably a pay thing, too. Like, people are probably just... Yeah, even if it's been paid, brother, it's, it's, it's nothing for me to take seriously i mean it's like an honorary degree it's like somebody honorary give you give you a degree that don't mean shit either you know what you, know, you know you know what it's, it's a good point because i have, a, you, I have know, an martin luther, I, you know martin luther king got an honor, honorary degree a lot of people don't know that but i can have a problem with honorary degree and, and doctorate and them shit, you know i have a problem with that in the room but i didn't want to say anything because i see people getting it and i don't want people to feel like i'm bad mind some people, some people deserve it. Again, like I said, Martin Luther King had an honorary degree. I think. His, what, I think so. I think he earned his master's degree. But let me look it up real quick. Yeah, he got it at Newcastle University. Oh, he has five honorary degrees. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So his doctorate was honorary. His master's degree, he earned. His doctorate was honorary. You know what? I don't mind that. Me neither. That's why I brought it up. But I'm trying to say that a pers- a some, pers- people, some a people pers- who get it are distinct. A person without, pers- without a first degree, brother. No, that's what I'm saying. I agree with you. I agree All of a sudden, getting a doctorate, that's like no, a slap in the face of people. That's a slap in the face. I don't care what field you excel in. I don't care if you're a billionaire. These children... Because I've seen it up close and personal, brother. Let me tell you something, bro. You, you think online study is easy, bro? Is a yo. I write paper till I hate paper. I don't even want to see paper. And then I started loving it again. And you know when you start loving it? When you're about to wrap up, bro. Because you're like, what my days are gonna be like. But it's not easy, bro. You think that yo, some of them I saw me a book, my youth, I saw me a book, and a man just come and just about say him get under a doctorate. I mean, they have book, 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 forget one little degree, brother. Come on, brother. Yeah, but let me tell you something why you don't watch no face because them honorary degrees are just that honorary degrees, they don't hold no type of weight. They well, it, well, to me, that is basically parallel with this art of distinction. You know what? An honorary degree just means that. You got clout. It just means that people know you. You know, you've networked well, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you know anything, you know, depending on who the person is. Like, obviously, Martin Luther King wouldn't be an example, but there are people who have honorary degrees, like uh, Bill Cosby, I think, has an honorary degree. You know what I'm saying? Like, people like that. Bill Cosby ain't no, he ain't no intellect like that. He's a comedian. Right, right. It, uh, to me, this is, this is a joke still. This, this is a major joke. Trust me. But, but you know what's funny? 
You think they would ever give a person like uh, me an already um OD? No, they might go say me, 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 me. Yeah, I actually think I actually think you would be able to get one of them Vegas. You, you're not a you're not a